What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog here on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. Today is going to be our second stop. So in our last video you guys saw Nassau. There was actually a day in between then and now. It was a day at sea. Honestly, we just kind of relaxed. We caught up on sleep. Yeah. We hung out by the pool, got a lot of sun, stuff like that. But today we are going to be in St. Thomas, which is a new one we're going to be able to check off the bucket list today. Neither Chels nor I have ever been here before. Whew. All right, so after a nice little breakfast, we made it here to St. Thomas. This is kind of exciting. We're next to Celebrity. I don't think I've ever seen one of their ships up close. That's pretty nice. I can nice. already tell you Michael hates it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the biggest royal fanboy right there. I'm not going to lie, we kind of are too. I mean, look, look at how much better this looks than that, let's be honest. But anyway, we're on our way to Megan's Beach. And it looks super beautiful here. This is one of the prettiest ports I think we've been in. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited to get the drone up in the air because I think we're going to be close to the cruise ship so I can get some cool shots of the ship and stuff. So, should be fun. I've been keeping my eyes on, keeping my eyes on you. Oh, heard you're looking for something, looking for something new. Oh, and I'd say all the world if you said that you'd want me to. Oh, I'd do whatever it takes to try to be with you. Oh. Yeah, that was one of the sketchiest things. So we were going straight up the side of a mountain and then straight down the side of a mountain. There were 10 mile an hour speed limit signs and we were doing at least 40 to 50 with no seat belts, no doors, no anything like. I mean, we it was a good a time. Car right where Abby was sitting. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> almost ran into somebody, but this place looks beautiful. Cause I can't do without you. and I decided we are going to come down here to the end and just kind of see what this is all about. I wish we had a little bit more time here. It's beautiful. No, it's not. It's more than what I was expecting. Right. Like it's all the reviews and stuff say that you have to come to Megan's Bay and some of you guys who follow us on Twitter and tweet us and comment on Instagram and stuff yeah. like that have been talking about it. Like we have to go there and we expected it to be a nice beach, but I mean, it's beautiful. Keeping my eyes on, keeping my eyes on you. Heard you looking for something, looking for something new. Oh, and I'd say all the world if you said that you'd want me to. Oh, what? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you're gonna duck me. I'm doing what? Don't, don't. I don't what? want it. I don't want it. I'm not doing it. I'm just walking. I don't trust you. Ew. I'm just walking. Oh, I tripped. I do whatever it takes to try to be with you. Oh. In case you guys wanted to know what it was like to go on vacation with girls. <laughs> We're out in the water enjoying it, and they're over here taking pictures for Instagram. Of How'd it turn out? Pretty good. Apparently it wasn't good enough because we're back down in the sand again. <laughs> Trying to grab a cab to Blackbeard's Castle. This whole thing is quite the operation. Not really a whole lot of organization. We're not quite sure what's going on. We hope we get there though. Is this us? Black man, blue vehicle. Blue? Thank you. This is us. What happened, Chels? So we got on our taxi and the taxi driver didn't know that we were trying to go to Blackbeard's and he said it was going to be a really long drive back in traffic and it wasn't that great. So no rum. I was talking to you guys about how it was pretty unorganized. We were told to like go to one person, then go to the next person, then the next person, the next person, and somewhere in that transition it got lost in translation. So we came to the complete other side of the island that we should have been going to with all the traffic. I don't know if we would have made it back. So. I guess we're not doing Blackbeards this time. We're not going shopping downtown, so that's a plus for me at least. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't need, need to spend to do any that. money. And uh, now we're back at the port. I think we're probably going to get on the boat early. A turn of events, we have decided to go ice skating here on the ship. We were expecting people to be a lot worse than they are out there. Looks like there are some professionals and some hockey players, so who knows what's going to happen, but this should be fun. I have an XL. I was trying to subtly do Doesn't fit. Okay, so after ice skating, we went to 
the Rising Tide Bar, which is a bar that goes from Central Park down to the promenade, like an elevator, which is really cool, really slowly. Uh, we had a drink, and now we're heading back to the room. We're gonna get ready for dinner, because we have dinner in about an hour. And this is actually really peaceful out here at night. I like They've got, I like, like, we need to come hang out here. It's so nice. Yeah, we should just come, like, sit in these seats or yeah. something. We've got like all the crickets chirping and, and it's just... Christmas lights. Look at this. This is so pretty. Can you believe we're on a boat in the middle of the ocean? It just feels like we're in a park at home. It's kind of cool. Right. But yeah, we're going to get ready for dinner. Nothing really too much planned tonight. We might try to go to a comedy show, which I've heard really, really good things about. All of their shows on the ship are all really, really good. So that's why I've been trying to hit as many as we can. But um, nothing set in stone. So we'll let you guys know what happens. I totally just ran into that door. <laughs> We'll see you guys in a bit. Are you ready for comedy? Yeah! yeah. Woo! All right, that was like 80. Oh, all right, so what'd you think? Comedy show. Oh my God, it's like they knew our life. It was so good. So the first guy really wasn't that great. He wasn't bad, but he wasn't like fantastic. The second guy was probably the best comedian I've ever seen. Yeah. I, I've been to a Kevin Hart show, so I don't know if I can say that, but in terms of like a local comedian, somebody who's not like mega famous, he was really, really good. I mean, he has like 100,000 followers on Twitter and stuff, so he's fairly yeah. big. He's been on Comedy Central and stuff, but he knew our life. He was making like cruise jokes that we make. He was making jokes about NASCAR, and you guys know that we know Junior, and like everything was just perfectly spot on. It was so good. And I really enjoyed it. So yet another good show from the Allure. I feel like every time we go into it expecting it to be good and then it like it still surprises us, which is pretty yeah, cool. Awesome. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Tomorrow we have St. Martin, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Hope you guys check out that vlog coming up next. And then after that we have two days at sea and then we're back home. No. So we're gonna see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. <laughs>